Hello everyone. I've created this recording for you for our 30-day uh, challenge around betrayal, mistrust, situations that may have you in a place of, of deep hurt. Or maybe, it doesn't, maybe it's not even deep. Maybe it's just something that um, isn't going away, but it's lingering, a situation, a, uh, some sort of relationship. You can use this for most anything, but the idea is for is to pick one thing and really to work on it for 30 days. Now, let me give you some information. The reason, you know, we look at 30 days versus three days, five days a week, and actually someone asked us this. This was a great question. The reason we do it for 30 days is that we know that when we do anything for at least 21 days, something actually shifts in our brain. You know, we call them habits. Um, we call them, you know, shifts so that we move into doing something really different in our lives and all of a sudden our brain clicks in and sees, perceives something different. So I believe the 30-day is... Well, it's, it's more than the 21, obviously. But I think, you know, when you look at um, the number three, I mean, it's a very powerful and spiritual number. So I think 30 days is uh, it's used, you know, for many things. But we're using it specifically in prayer for a situation, a relationship, a betrayal, a mistrust, somewhere where your heart is really hurting. Now, another reason we look at 30 days is because there's going to be miracles that happen along the way. Now, you could have a miracle in three days. You could have a miracle in five days. You could have a miracle in two weeks. But in 30 days, you could have lots of miracles. So this is an experiment. So why not get the most out of it, right? Okay. So for those of you who may be having a little difficulty getting started, because it's difficult to pray for people who've hurt us or situations that are breaking our heart. So I would suggest when you begin to go into this space, number one, take a really deep breath. And we can all do that together now. And you want to make sure that you continue to deep breathe to breathe deeply throughout your your entire prayer. This connects you more with your body and with your soul and with your heart. And so just let this person or situation come to mind and just let it drift in. And there may be a lot of pain that comes up with it. And if it does, just know that you're more than this pain. And just feel yourself surrounded by pure grace from the universe or God or whatever feels right to you, whatever words feel soft and gentle and safe to you. And just know that you are so much more, so much more than this situation or the betrayal or the hurt. And now just begin to think of the person and the situation. And if it is a person, just begin to think about them being happy. What might make them happy? It might be praying for their children. That might be an easy way to start. You know, we're looking at praying for their happiness. And the reality is, is that when we give, we receive. It's a natural law. It's a spiritual law. So just begin thinking about the easiest things that you could pray for for them. You know, that maybe they, they may have a day of ease at work. They may have more prosperity in their day. They may have more joy and less conflict in their day. And just continue to think of things. If you were praying for your best friend, what might you add in that you would pray for, for someone that you truly love and care about? 
So just begin to continue for five minutes. You know, if you need to set a timer, you can. Maybe you might not need to. But just begin to let things drift in for you. And it'll happen naturally, what, you're, what you need to ask for for them. Maybe it's peace in their body. Maybe it's a pain-free body. Maybe it's less conflict in their life with their family. It could be anything, but you'll know. Your heart, your soul, your psyche will tell you. And after the five minutes that you've prayed for their happiness, their joy, seal it with a real gift of thanks. Because any time that we're sending something so good out into the universe, it can't help but come back to us. And know that by your doing this, such grace is being poured in through you. You cannot help but be graced and be a receiver of miracles as well. So come back to this recording any time that you might need a booster or you might need support because I know what we're, we're inviting you to do at times can be very difficult. And don't forget, if you need more support, you're welcome to reach out to Leonka and I. So from our hearts to yours, we pray for your happiness as well, your ease and your joy, and may you be filled with total grace. And with that, so be it, and amen.